hey guys, my name is Jacob Tellis, and today we're going to be checking out products from a company out of New Zealand called Quiet Art. And the first one we're going to be checking out is called Defaulter. And what it is, as you can see here, is basically it's for Pro Tools, and it's a clip gain normalizing plugin, which goes hand in hand and goes really well with the next plugin I will go through in the video called Wave Rider. And it's a great addition for gain staging plugins for Pro Tools. Clip gain is an awesome thing in Pro Tools, and basically Defaulter allows you to uh, normalize the clip gain via your set level, and you could set it via peak or RMS, and it ignores the clips with levels below the user threshold. And it's really, really simple to use. They even have a little GIF on their website showing it in action, which is really cool. And I'm gonna check it out in Pro Tools and with a little voiceover that I just did to test this video out. So Defaulter does work on Audio Suite, so you get it from Audio Suite and Quiet Art Defaulter. And one thing that's worth noting is it says set Pro Tools clip gain steps to 0.5 for it to work properly. So let's do that and make sure it's set correctly. Go to Preferences, Editing, and then Clip Gain Nudge Value set to 0.5 dB. So if it's set to anything else, just switch it when you're using this. And hit OK. And we're good to go. Now, basically, you can set it to work at RMS or peak. So we have it set to RMS. As you can see, it's highlighted red. And we have it set to max level at minus 25 dB. And the peak threshold is at minus 30 over here. And you, and you could switch either of these by hitting the plus or minus marks. And this actually made a preset just for myself as it's kind of like where I'd, it's, it's basically where I'd like to start on, on anything that I do with Defaulter. And, you know, rather than you going through and, you know, say you have a bunch of clips like this and going through and, you know, gaining each one manually, this helps automate that process. So let's actually check out the clip on process just to see what we're working with. And let's hit play. It's just me talking, nothing too special. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Defaulter by Quiet Arts, which is a company from New Zealand. And they make really cool products. So let's check it out. So again, I'm going to process these one by one with Defaulter to basically normalize these clips so that they're a bit more even. And also it's cool for gain staging as well. But let's actually just select the first guy, hit analyze. And as you can see, it's working in the background. And if you look closely, you saw it shifted up the game without me doing anything based on the settings that I have it on, which is great. And when you hit analyze and it's done, it goes on to the next clip automatically. So yeah, this works really well. And I'm actually going to stop it there because Quiet Art is a really smart company. And even though this is super fast, they actually have a, a shortcut for Keyboard Maestro that essentially allows you to not hit analyze each time. You can hit it once and it automatically goes through all your tracks and clips and does it to your preset settings. So let's actually set that up. Let's open Keyboard Maestro, set it's on. And in your download folder that comes with either a demo or the product purchase of Defaulter, you'll have like a thing to click, which is Defaulter 1.5. You just double click it and you could, you know, open it in Keyboard Maestro, which isn't a free app, but you could probably demo it and try it out. So it essentially runs this stuff. So basically it moves on to the next clip based on these hot triggers and macros that are programmed. And which is great that they have it. And of course you can kind of create your own as well if you want to recreate that. So now that it's on, let's actually just undo our clip gains that happened here. And now let's click the first one and it should, without me doing anything, just do all of them. So let's try that out. Let's hit analyze. And as you can see, my hand is not touching anything and it's going through and doing all of them. So if you're gonna use this and doing a lot of vocal normalizing for clips, you know, for dialogue or for music tracks or vocals, then it's definitely worth investing the 30 or so dollars for a keyboard maestro. You know, again, I just clicked it once and I'm talking to you guys and it's doing its thing. So I love macros. And one thing I would like to say also, if you notice, I have a blank track under it. And basically that what that does is that when it runs out of things, it's not going to keep going in a loop. So it sees blank and it stops. So that's why I have that there, which they recommend it in their manual, which as I see here, works great. And let's hear after with all these normalized without me doing anything really. I click one button. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Defaulter by Quiet Arts, which is a company from New Zealand. They make really cool products. So let's check it out. So in addition to being louder, um, these clips are definitely a lot more even without any compression, uh, which is fantastic. 
So again, defaulter, clip gain, normalizer, plugin for Pro Tools, really easy to use. You can set it to RMS or peak values, and it kind of looks at that and then sets your audio. And again, you could click one and then hit analyze. And then once it's done, it goes to the next one and so on. Or you can use Keyboard Maestro and it'll do it for you. Just hit it once. And that's super easy to use. And I could see this being super valuable. And also, you know, say you have a mix that you're about to start and you want to say, bring all your tracks down to say minus 16 or minus 12. To, like some people like their plugins to hit at a certain spot for headroom and otherwise. So you could use it for that as well. Let's go over Wave right now, which is my second part of this video. And I felt like both products really connected really well. And I feel like I would use them both a lot. So I figured in one video, it kind of really shows off the company and the products. And let's check out WaveRider. So what is WaveRider? Well, it basically is a fader control utility and it applies volume adjustments to the Pro Tools faders to maintain consistent levels. And it could do things like uh, perform ducking, gating, tracing, and automatic mixing duties. And it's used a lot of mixing and post-production. And there's a few main modes. You have ride mode, where it's a default mode. And basically what this does is it automatically raises or lowers the fader to maintain the user's Apple level by writing volume automation on the timeline. And then you could of course still edit your automation, but it's great for vocals, bass, voiceovers, and all that sort of thing. Then there's a duck mode, which is really convenient, say if you're doing like music with a, with a voiceover and you want the music to duck anytime the uh, voice starts. So this is kind of what I'm gonna show you in this video these two modes and also park on silence is a function that you find on a lot of automatic mixer boxes where the faders are set or parked at a user defined level when there's a very little signal. And then they come up to the full output when there's a strong signal present. And it's really useful when there's a lot of mics and you want to have a clean signal without much background noise. And it can also be used as a noise gate or to replace noise gate. So the trace function is basically the opposite of what the ride is, which is our first mode that we went through. So what it actually does is it creates volume graphs of the envelope of a signal. So say you have a bass guitar which is really distorted and you have a DI track and say the bass guitar is really noisy in between. So you can essentially copy the uh, envelope from the clean guitar to get rid of the noise in between and to have a really tight signal, say when you're stacking two sounds together like bass. So this definitely speeds up for automation and it makes mixing and automation easier. And of course, this is a tool to use so it's not replacing you. Uh, but it is super handy. And I figured I'll go through some of the voiceover with some music and I'll show you an example of how I'm using these functions that I just talked about. So over here, I have a vocal and I have a music track. So I have Wave Rider inserted on the vocal track. And I should note that before I get started that you have to set up something in setup. You go to peripherals and then uh, MIDI controllers and you select UE and then Wave Rider one through eight and now on the receive from and then one through eight on the send to and then you pretty much repeat those steps. UE, Wave Rider 9 through 16, and then 17 to 24, 25 to 32. And you get the idea, you hit okay. And this basically allows it to talk to your mixer and control it. So for the vocal, what I actually wanted to do is, and I actually made a preset, but as you can see, you have the ride mode, you have a duck mode, you have the trace mode, which is there. And we have the park mode, you have a park level and the output gain. And you have the ratio threshold and you can set it how you want, depending on the vocal. More to the outer parts on the ratio, it's more loose in how it reacts. And if it's more to the middle here on both of these, then it's a bit faster and not as loose. And you have threshold, soft and loud range. It's pretty self-explanatory. So it's basically looking at how the level is and how it to react based on where these are set. And then for the duck, you have your duck attack and then your park release. And that's how fast the ducking happens and how fast the parking releases. And then you have your ducking range, which basically sets how much do you want to turn it down when it's ducking. So I have mine set to minus 10 dB. And we're not actually using ducking for this first track, so you can ignore us, but I figured I'd show you the settings. So on this track, we're in classic mode, we're on ride, and you can take a look at my settings and kind of copy them if you want, but it's basically just this guy, this guy, and here and here. So we're at minus 45 on the soft range, minus 22 on the loud range. And then we're kind of close to loose as opposed to the other side on both of these settings. And we have channel one selected, which is channel one is right here. And now if I hit play, you'll see the automation moving. And I haven't printed yet, but we definitely will. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Defaulter by Quiet Arts, which is a company from New Zealand. And they make really cool products. So let's check it out. Cool, and what we're actually gonna do is 
now that you see that's working, I'm not gonna print it just yet to automation. So it's running live. And it, now if you notice, I have a second plugin inserted on the same vocal here. But on this one, it's set to channel two, which is the music bed, which is muted. So I'm gonna turn that on. And this is set to ducking. And I have it set to minus 45 dB. So it's a pretty loud track. And I want it to really go way in the background when that vocal is talking. But when the vocal is not talking, I pretty much want it to have at it and basically just kind of be whatever level it's set to and not be ducked. You know, as opposed to setting a compressor and kind of keying it to the vocal, um, this is actually a little bit more effective and easier. And also this is great for voiceovers or, you know, for a lot of cool automation type things, even on a full track. And guys, of course, on this video, it's, it's kind of hard for me to be like, you know, set it here or set it here. But there are some presets you can go through and kind of click through and mess around with the settings to really learn how this works. And they also have a great manual that comes with it. So this video is really example purposes and showing you what is possible with a plugin. Basically, I have my first track, which is a voiceover. And then I have a second plugin inserted on the same track, but it's looking at track two. And basically when I have that playing, you'll see that when it's at the beginning over here, the track will go to full volume. But when it starts to get to here where the vocal is, right? it'll duck. And then when it gets to here, it'll go back to full volumes. And let's hit play and see what happens. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Defaulter by Quiet Arts, which is a company from New Zealand. And they make really cool products. So let's check it out. Of course, you can go in and mess with the attack and release, as well as how many dBs you want it to duck, the range. So I have it set to minus 45, which is a bit much, you know, so you might, you might want to do less or more. And remember it parks on. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's super easy. And you know, when you're happy with the settings and you want to print it as in non-destructively, of course, you select the tracks and instead of read, you're going to go to latch and just hit play from the top. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Defaulter by Quiet Arts which is a company from New Zealand. Yeah, they make really cool products. So let's check it out. And, you know, as you can see, it wrote the automation. You know, it kind of did what it said it would do. And of course, I could probably speed up the attack here so that it's not as slow starting out because I felt like the, the first word, it, it was kind of lost a bit. So what I can do here is just kind of draw it down and... Um, or, or I could punch in the automation, but I think for this, this kind of works. And basically when you're done, you can just put it to put it to read. And you could basically turn off your plugins because otherwise it's going to be doing it again. So I'm happy with the settings. I'm going to bypass the plugins and now just it'll read automation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use these. And let's actually have a look at the faders as this is going. So let's pull these in here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Defaulter by Quiet Arts, which is a company from New Zealand. Yeah, they make really cool products. So let's check it out. So you can see with the drop of setup, how easy it is to automate a ton of things. And this is great, even just for like a vocal track and a mix or a bass guitar, if you don't want to over compress it. A lot of times, you know, things are very dynamic and you would rather just ride the fader to really get a natural sound, but keep it above the mix or really even. So automation, which is all this is, it's, it's a plugin controlling automation and, and you could use it to write automation. And I find that latch mode is best for this particular thing. Again, guys, you can check them out at quietart.co.nz. And this is WaveRider and the Defaulter plugin. Definitely check them out. Really great company out of New Zealand. And, you know, I feel like I'm going to be using this a ton on mixes and videos like this one. And thanks for watching, guys. And as always, if you dug this video, make sure to hit the like button and comment on this video if you'd like to see anything else in the future. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and have a great day.